everybody, welcome to another video. Hope you're ready to flex those brain muscles. In this video, I'm gonna use my brand new pink expo marker to find the inverse of some exponential functions. So hopefully you've found the inverse of some functions before. If you haven't, you can click this video up here where I did that. Uh, but yeah, the process is actually the same when you have exponential functions. You just switch the position of x and y and solve for y, and that's the inverse function. So let's go ahead and start, let's go ahead and try it. And if we can guess, what do you think the inverse of this function is gonna be? It's gonna be a logarithmic function, right? Because in general, the inverse of an exponential function is a log function and the same as vice versa. So we can expect some kind of logarithm to be in our inverse function, but we just wanna be precise. We wanna find the exact function that is the inverse of this function. So in other words, it basically undoes everything being done to x, right? Because if I plug this function into its inverse, I just get out x when I simplify. So, all right, let's go ahead and start. I'm gonna replace f of x with y. The reason why is because y is just easier to deal with, especially when we start switching the position of x and y. Just easier to deal with. So maybe you're already given y, but if you're not, replace it, uh, replace f of x with y. So now I'm switching the position of x and y. So I have x equals 5 to the y minus 8. Now I'm solving for y. So what am I going to end up having to do? Take log of both sides. But first I need to move this 8 over. I need to add 8 to both sides before I can take the log of both sides plus eight, plus eight, draw an arrow. These arrows just mean this is the next step, right? So I have x plus eight on the left-hand side. x plus eight equals five to the y. Now I can take the log of both sides. On what base do you think I'm gonna use? Log base five, right? Because I might as well go ahead and get rid of this five if I can, you know? And I can by taking log base five of both sides because that log base five of five becomes one and this y comes out in front using logarithm properties, right? I can bring the y out in front. So I'm just left with y on this side, which is actually what I want to solve for. So I'm pretty much at my answer after this step. Log base 5 of both sides, right? These cross out because that's just 1. So I have what? y equals log base 5 of x plus 8. Log base 5, x plus 8. And yeah, this is my inverse function of this function. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite y, I'm going to rewrite y as what? The inverse notation. f, it looks like a little f to the negative 1. It's not. It means inverse. And now I'm done. So if I take this function and plug it in to x, I, in fact, let's go ahead and try it. I feel like this one won't be, won't take too long. So I take 5 to the x minus 8, and I plug it in for x here. 5 to the x minus 8 plus 8. You can automatically see that the 8s are going to cancel, right? P minus 8 plus 8 then log base five of five to the x, I'm just left with x, right? That's a pretty easy example to see. So this is definitely the inverse of that function. Let's move on to another example. Immediately, I just replace f of x with y. Let's see, one half times three to the x minus one. And maybe you skip this step and you just replace f of x with x and replace x with y. That works as well, you know. All right, now I'm gonna switch x and y. So I have x equals one half, three to the y minus one. Now I wanna solve for this y, so I gotta do a couple things first. I'm gonna multiply both sides by two because that's gonna get rid of this one half out in front. So if I multiply by two, both sides by two, I'm left with what? Well now this one half is gone, two times one half, that's one. I'm left with three to the y minus one and I'm left with two times x on the left-hand side. So I have two x equals three to the y minus one. Now I can actually go ahead and take log of both sides. And what base am I gonna take? I'm gonna take log base three, right? Because I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this three since I can. Log base three, log base three. Log base three of three is one. And using logarithm properties, this y minus one can come out in front. A lot of people just cross this off and circle that, that's what you're left with. That works absolutely, but. Okay, so you're left with y minus one on the right-hand side. I'll go ahead and write that over here. y minus one. On the left-hand side, I just have log base three of two x. So I draw my little arrow. Log base three of two x. I'm almost done, I actually just have one step. I can add one to both sides, right? Add one, add one. Now I have y equals Log base three of two x plus one. Log base three, two x plus one. And since I've solved for y, 
This is my inverse function, so I'm going to actually replace y with that inverse notation just to make it clear that I have found the inverse and this is the inverse. And we are done. Let's do one more example. All right, I encourage you to pause this video and try this on your own, then press play to check your answer. So I'll go ahead and start. I'm assuming you all have the correct answer, and now you're just watching to double check. So I'm going to replace f of x with y, if my marker will work, y equals 2 to the, I have this crazy thing up here. This is x plus 3 over 5. x plus 3 over 5. Crazy thing up here, but I can still find the inverse. I'm going to switch the position of x and y. I have x equals 2 to the y plus 3 over 5. I can actually just go ahead and take log of both sides, and I'm going to take log base 2. Log base 2. Log base 2. All right, now what am I left with? Well, this log base 2 of 2 is gone. And on the right side, I'm just left with y plus 3 over 5. On the left-hand side, I'm left with log base 2 of x. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite all that down here. Log base 2 of x equals y plus 3 over 5. Now I just have to use a couple algebra steps. Multiply both sides by 5 because I'm trying to solve for y, right? Multiply both sides by 5. That will get rid of this here, denominator, that's gone, and now I just have y plus 3. And now I can subtract 3 from both sides. So I kind of did two steps in one, but I feel like y'all can handle that. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite this. I have 5 log base 2 of x minus 3, and that all equals y. 5 log base 2 of x minus 3. And since I've solved for y, this is the inverse of my original function. So I'll use the eraser this time. My fingers are all pink now. So now I have f inverse equals 5 times log base 2 of x minus 3. If I take this function and plug it in for x, I will get x when I simplify. So hopefully this video helped. If it did, make sure to hit like. Leave any questions below in the comments. Subscribe for more. Check out my channel if you need more help. And keep flexing those brain muscles, keep making those brain gains.